Let's get started. So today we are going to be doing a sequence for relaxation and insomnia. So I want you, if you are doing this before you go to bed, to be ready to get in bed after. Change into comfortable clothes, brush your teeth, whatever you need to do. And when you come back to your mat, we're starting in Shavasana. So feel your body heavy on your mat, rolling your shoulder blades under, giving a slight tuck to your tailbone, and your legs and your arms can be wherever they're comfortable. Relax your forehead. And the breathing we're going to do at the beginning of class today is what we call medicine wheel breathing. So we're going to inhale to the count of four and exhale to the count of four. And this helps us still our mind to let us go deeper into stillness today. I'll be counting for you at the beginning here. So inhale to the count of four. Deep inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. And continue your breathing. And feel your thoughts float away. I find it calming to have my hands on my belly to feel my breath. So take your last couple breaths in Shavasana. And come on to your side and push yourself up into seated. We'll be starting with a side bend. We'll be having our left hand on the ground beside our left hip. Inhale, right arm straight up and over to the left side. Feeling a stretch along the right side body and relaxing our neck down. Keeping our eyes closed for the majority of practice today. Slowly down regulating. Sending breath into our right neck and our right side body. And neck releases next, bringing the right arm down to beside the right hip, foot about a foot off the ground, feeling more of a stretch along our right neck, sending our breath there. Stay in your side bend to the left side. And on your next inhale, coming back to center, helping the left side of your head back to center. Switch the cross of your legs and putting the right hand flat on your mat, about a foot away from your hip, left hand up into the sky, inhale to lengthen and exhale to bend over towards the right side, feeling a stretch along the left side body and the left neck. Staying active with your breath. And 
turning off all of your to-do lists. Coming into neck release, bringing the left hand down beside the left hip, about a foot off the ground, reaching through your fingertips on the left hand and feeling a stronger stretch along the neck. Adjusting the chin towards the ground, closer to your ear, wherever it feels comfortable. And on your next inhale, reaching through your fingertips, coming back to center, and helping your head to center. Next, we'll be coming into Baddha Konasana. Flats of your feet together. Knees spread towards the sides. Inhale to lengthen your spine and exhale to sink towards your feet. And in order to really relax in this pose, we're gonna be here for quite a while. If you have a block nearby, or even a couple pillows, rest them above your feet and relax your forehead down. So you're able to relax your head and your neck. It may be nice to send breath into your hip creases so you're able to relax your knees a little bit further to the sides. Relax your jaw. And just let the weight of your head fall into the block or the pillows, wherever it may be today. And on your next inhale, we're going to take the block and that cushions away. And we're going to come back up to seated. And we're going to swing our legs behind us. And we're just going to come back onto our heels and take a breath here. Lengthen out our spine, keeping our eyes and our forehead soft. So child's pose is next. So if you feel comfortable in this position, then you can stay here. But if you want to relax down onto your mat, then spread your knees wide, as wide as feels comfortable. Bring your hands out in front of you, lengthen your spine, and relax your forehead to the mat. And if it doesn't reach the mat, then you can put your head on cushions again or use a block for support. And just let your weight sink into your forehead and back into your hips. Being present with your breath. And let's send that breath into the back of our chest right now. Just taking a deep breath in, feeling it spiral from our lungs 
into that back heart space and exhaling all of that crap that we don't need. And let's do that one more time. Inhaling into our heart space. Maybe holding the air there for a moment. Letting it spiral around and get deep in our tissues. And exhaling it out through our mouth. And on your next inhale, bringing your hands back underneath your shoulders and pushing up and back onto our feet and coming onto our back. We're going to straighten our right leg down and grab both of our hands onto the front of the right or onto the left leg. bringing our knee into our chest. And if you want more of a stretch into your hip, then you can bring your knee over towards your shoulder. Keeping your breath strong. Taking one of our last breaths here and releasing your left leg down, bringing your right leg in, stretching out the left leg. Hands are around the right knee, just underneath the kneecap on the front of your calf and shin, reaching your knee towards your chest or even your shoulder. Relaxing your forehead. Relaxing your jaw. Maybe bringing your tongue to the roof of your mouth, which gives us more of a release in our jaw bones. Relaxing both legs down, knees to the ground. Hugging both knees into your chest and rocking back and forth. Really giving some love to our low back here. Maybe doing some circles. Going the other way. Rocking left to right. And we're going to be coming into a twist on our back. So both feet flat on the ground, lifting our bum off the ground and bringing it over towards the left. Letting our knees relax over to the right. Letting our gaze fall where it feels comfortable, where you feel no strain on your neck. And doing the same with our hands.
bringing our knees back to center, lifting our bum up, bringing our spine to neutral, and then lifting our bum up one more time, bringing it over towards the right side, and then relax both your knees over towards the left, coming into a twist on the opposite side. Gaze and arms wherever they feel comfortable. You may want your right hand on your rib cage and your left hand just resting on your thighs. Letting our body melt here. On your next inhale, coming back to center, bringing our spine to neutral one last time, bringing our palms to shine towards the ceiling as we bring our arms beside our body, lengthening out our legs and coming into Shavasana, tucking our shoulder blades, giving a tuck to our tailbone, making sure our neck is wrinkle free. And one last time, making sure our forehead and our jaw are relaxed. Now we're going to come into medicine wheel breathing one more time, just to get deep into our Shavasana. So on your next inhale, we'll come into a count of four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. And come back to your regular breathing pattern, feeling your body heavy, letting your back melt, letting the ground support you. Namaste. Namaste.